so good morning guys so in previous session we discussed about uh, dom and uh, what is dom and how dom will work and what is the use of dom and all we've seen so what is the major aim of dom is here we can manipulate the document elements how can we manipulate the elements right so a document may contain a lot of html elements right not only one or two elements it may contain n number of elements maybe right lot of elements may be there how can we access those elements right nothing but the next concept is here finding html elements from a document a document may contain a lot of elements in this lot of elements how can we select the particular element only right how to get the particular element information only so we have the following ways guys here so what are the following ways by using id by using class name by using tag name by using css selectors and by using html object collection so already the first thing the first way by using id we already seen it right so nothing but the document object is providing collection of methods i already told you the document object having lot of methods and lot of properties so by using some of those methods we can access the dom elements nothing but the concept is finding html element right now i am saying you so we can manipulate the document elements right if you want to manipulate the document elements we have to get the element now so which element you want to get right that element information we need to have to get that element information we have these following ways guys right i want to add an attribute to a selected element i want to remove an attribute from an element to remove to add so we need to get the element information right how can we get that element information by using its id or class name so let us go with one by one so now the first thing is by using id with a, so how can we access an element by using id and with some small examples also we will see guys nothing but accessing an element by using id so let us check it guys now uh, i just want to uh, create a new file here so by creating the file i just want to access the elements so, right we have already a document here let me create a new file with the same and uh, let us create a file dom2.html let us see guys this is the document okay so let us first of all remove the code from this document this is the document yes this is a plain document nothing was there inside of it right so just this is a plain document let us write some elements already in the body tag we have a tag called h1 so it doesn't have any attributes right if you want to add any other yes we can add those also guys right now you can see i am taking an input element here so earlier also we take an input type equal to text input type equal to text and id equal to something so here you want you can take it as a username also nothing but how can we manipulate this by using uh dom there is a question here so let us take id as uname that's it i'm not taking any other attributes to this guys just two attributes one is type text one is uh i uh one more attribute id i taken so remaining attributes name value placeholder if you want to add any attribute to this particular element s yes, we can add by using dom let us see how can we add how can we access this element right so right now can i see the preview of it i'm going to just check the preview of this guys can you see what is the preview of this this is the preview of the particular document guys right now can you see it what is the output we are having just an input box here so what is the dom it is having guys can you check the dom and this is the input and the type equal to text and id equal to unit we just added two attributes to this element none other than this right so now what i need to do here <laughs> i want to add some other attributes to this element right so in this document can you say there are two elements guys in this body tag there are two elements one is h1 tag one is input element how can i access these two elements into javascript right by using its id na so not only guys there are uh, one more text box is there for example uh, i have uh, email text box input type equal to text id equal to email i have one more text box is there right so now i want to manipulate only this text box how do i know you are going to manipulate this text box only so we need to access the particular element now now i need to find an element 
right how can i find an element we have the following ways i told you by using id by using class name by using tag name something like this if i go with the tag name so there are two tags input and input so by using its id id is an issue right this element contain an id you name this element contain an id called email that element having different id this element also having different id so let us get this element information by using id how can i get the particular element from the document right so by so that's that's why we have the following ways there are five ways i shown you in the slide so by using id by using class name tag name html object collection and query, uh, css selectors these are all the possible ways to get the particular element of a document see this document contain limited number of elements only in my body tag just i have three elements h1 and two input elements only so this is not a big problem when a document contain multiple elements then we have to identify the specific element how can we access the specific element from a document right yes now guys so i want to add some attributes to this element at the time of page loading so at the time of page loading means we can have an event called on load is one event um, on load equal to i can write some function manipulate you can take any function here so whatever the function name you want yes you can take there is no problem so my function name is manipulate dom or, or else you can take something like a function called manipulate dom right so this is not any predefined function this is your own function you can take any name there so not only manipulate dom because i am manipulating the document that's the reason i have taken the function like this so right we can have a script tag and script tag so let us go and uh, write the function what is the function manipulate dom is the function you assign to the on load so uh, what is on load here on load is an event when the body is loaded so when the document is ready then the function will be fired let me write some message here so when the document is ready so it will get the output like this guys and refresh it you are getting one when the document is ready this is the dom you have so for this what are the attributes we have for this what are the attributes we have you can check this so username having two attributes as well as email is also having two attributes all these are available in body tag so now i want to manipulate so to manipulate the element so we need to find an element right how to find an element that's the main concept of today's session is finding elements from a document to manipulate it so which element you want to manipulate first get that element information so let us get the username element so based on its id so the first finding elements in that slide we have five ways the first one is by using id so how can we get an element by using an id we already know this method right so document dot get element by id this method we already seen this method is belongs to dom right so we written so many times this method now the time came to understand about this method why this method is for in a total document we have so many elements in this so many elements i want to select the particular element or selected element right nothing but in a classroom lot of students will be there for every student there is an id why id is required for a student to identify the student uniquely in the same manner id is also for an html document guys right so let us go with the u name here this is u name right so let us take a variable where ele or element or something like that is your choice you can take any variable here right what this is containing this containing all the information of this particular element now so i just want to console dot log right console dot log elem so now you can just refresh the page and you can check it go to the console and see the output guys what it is containing it is containing the complete information of the particular input element right or uh, if you can alert this what is up what you will get here alert i already told you alert uh, it will show you an object guys can you see object of html input element i am saying you in html these are called elements 
but the same element came to javascript that will be an object every html element will be an object in javascript that's what we discussed yesterday's session guys just remember object contain collection of properties and collection of methods right now tell me how can we add some attributes already the input element contain this username input element contain two attributes one is type one is id i want to add a class attribute i want to add placeholder attribute i want to add value attribute as well when the page is loaded but as a, as you return you return just only an input element with two attributes now i want to add two more extra attributes to the particular element guys so the reference is this is the element reference to this element reference i have to add two more so elem dot set attribute is the predefined method set attribute is the predefined method guys so what is the attribute you want to add remember carefully this attribute is a predefined method so this this method was belongs to document object so don't write document dot set attribute always we have to write this method on the element reference uh, element is this is the uh, uh, document dot get element by you name all the information of the element was available in this variable you can take any variable here you can take x y z whatever it may be right so set attribute i want to add an attribute called a class and my class is here form control C O N T R O L form control. Now just refresh it, and if you can refresh the page, and you can check this input element by selecting this. So can you see the class attribute is added? But when you type the program, did you add any class attribute to this? No, you didn't add any class attribute. But my DOM is changed, right? So the main goal of DOM is changing the element structure also. Nothing but changing an element also, or create an element and add to the DOM also, right? That we will see creating an element. Now we are changing the attributes of an element, guys, right? Now I want to add one more attribute to this. If you want to add one more attribute, same element dot set attribute. In this set attribute, I'm just going with key comma value. Key is always the predefined attribute name. So value could be anything, guys. You can give any value here. Class that is a predefined by you, or uh, the sorry that is defined by you, right? Class is a predefined attribute, right? For example, now I want to take placeholder attribute. Placeholder equal to username simply i'm taking something called username now if you can refresh you can check it so the username attribute is also added can you see placeholder is coming into the box now you can see the dom actual element contain two attributes now the two more attributes added to this element by using dom now one more attribute i want to add called element dot set attribute so this is value attribute value equal to rom something like i am taking guys here now if we can refresh here so the value was replaced rom here right so where is that uh, placeholder because if you set value placeholder won't come na right but still placeholder attribute is added but if you can remove rom then what is going to happen placeholder will come if you can refresh the page again then things will come guys right now when you are doing this action at the time of page loading no sir i want to do this action at the time of by clicking a button so you want to do this uh, you want to perform the same action when you, you click by clicking a button yes we can do that too also let us have a button here button and the button open button close something called add uh, let have let's have an on click event here on click equal to the same manipulate dom just i am removing the function from on load and just make this as, as a on click this manipulation now can you see what is our element now now you can see there is a submit button button is also there but for this input element do you see the input element is containing any attributes here just having two attributes one is type one is name that's it it does not contain anything when i click this can you see the dom is changed you have to observe this uh, console guys you can just see the inspect element here this element uh, so where is my mouse pointing here this my mouse is pointing this element just i'm clicking on this and just if you can click add button can you check in the console here so two attributes was added three attributes was added class form control placeholder and value was added to the input element so we did this job for one element if you want to do the same for email also yes we can take email element also we can get the email element here right now i'm getting we have two elements right now get another elements also what is the another element called email 
as we can manipulate the email as in the same manner guys right for example here i have a form control class can you see just i want to write this form control let us have some css class also uh, let us go with some style and style style this is the form control class dot form control let's have some height width h a g h t height 30 pixels width 100% Order one pixel solid hash some different color you can give here uh, hash triple four uh, some different color border radius border hyphen r a d i yes border radius uh, let us take three pixels something guys now can you see I'm refreshing nothing was added but when i click this form control class will be added now so form control class we are adding dynamically here we are adding right now you can click on it so the style was applied to this input element guys can you see the style was applied to this input element when it is adding by clicking that element right you want to add the same class to email also then what is going to happen right here you can get the same information here just get the id of email just i want to get where uh, mail take a variable and what is the id of it id is email you want to add same class to this yes you can select the element same guys nothing is going to be changed here right but this is not element this is a mail dot set attribute so the reference is important here so this contain in information of the email element this contain information of the username element now you can see for both elements the button will be added guys now you can just check it i'm going to click on the add button form control oh this is not added form control class what is the reason oh i have some error in the console let me check what is the error in the console and see the error cannot read property of set attribute of null so why set attribute of null oh sorry here id is capital e but here i take in small e that's very important guys id should be case sense to how you provided here the same manner you have to provide in javascript as well guys don't uh, do any mistakes here right so i'm going to refresh the screen now and let us submit this if you can submit this do you observe for both elements for username element and input elements the dom is adding the property called class remember how we are manipulating this is all nothing but manipulating the things guys for example now i'm adding class manually to this guys i'm not adding uh, so through javascript can you see now i'm just going to add class manually all right let us add the class form control and let us add the class called form control i'm adding the class manually but if you add the class we no need to add by javascript now so let us come out of the javascript i am removing and i am removing guys nothing was there right just you can check it carefully now if you can refresh by default they are having uh, classes by clicking they are not coming so by default i added the attribute called class so with the value form control and it was designed now by clicking the add button i want to remove the class if you remove the class it will come the basic structure now right what is the next thing here we seen a method called the set attribute it is adding an attribute now i want to remove the attribute of an element i want to remove what is the attribute class attribute if you can remove class attribute automatically this will also gone right so then how we are going to do this right now you can see by clicking this e l e m same earlier to add the attribute we use the set attribute method now i want to remove the attribute class so we have a method called remove attribute is the method guys this is also a predefined method this will always called on the element reference right so now you can take the attribute name that's it you don't need to pass the value does not require just to remove the attribute so that's it guys here also i want to take the same mail dot set uh, sorry remove attribute is the method and what is the attribute you have class attribute guys just add the class attribute and refresh the page now you have the classes now you can check the inspect in the inspect element also you can check it 
so here you can see there is a class called form control for the other element also there is a class called form control when i am clicking the button so it has to remove now i clicked so can you see the classes attribute was removed this is input element there is no class attribute this is also an input of a username element but there is no class attribute guys do you observe how can we add an attribute to an element how can we remove an attribute from an element guys this is nothing but absolutely what dom will work earlier we seen how to add an attribute not only one attribute you can add multiple attributes an input element contain lot of attributes na type id style class placeholder so min size maximum max min right so lot of attributes are there right every attribute we can add by using set attribute not only for input element amma you can use anything now i let me go with another example call let us go with another example so let us create dom3 right another example here i want to tell you so this example is going to be very clear guys now i want to give you so another example uh, this is also manipulating the attribute values and dom values let us see how this is going to work guys so let me go to and uh, so generally this is a common examples we see everywhere guys on and off there is one button will be there by using that button i want to uh, if i click the on a light should be on if i click the off light should be off let me have two buttons here uh, button so try to understand the examples very clearly how we see the main thing is here how to find an element right from a document and how to manipulate the particular element by using javascript library methods right dom library methods right so here button so let us make the button as on and one more button i want to take this as a off right so let me uh, go with a button uh, on click or we can, i am i am writing individually on click on light something like on l i g h t on light so i want to make one more on click equal to off light something like this these are the two methods i have here right uh, generally you have to take img src one image i am taking here right in images folder i have created a images folder i just kept two images guys bulb of right initially bulb is going to be off let us go and uh, of the image okay so let us take this image bulb of dot gif is the image right you want to take you can take some height and width also for this h a g h t height 300 sorry height equal to 300 and width some with equal to some 300 guys right now refresh the page you can just check it so let us see the output of this page guys this is the uh, image don't bother about the size of the image and all if i click on light should be on if i click off light should be off right so then what i need to do already you had an attribute na so then what i want to do i want to take an id id equal to uh, <clears throat> light you can take any id there right on click this light on light on light is a function i have to on the light but right now what is the image i have here it is off image right so i have two images guys you can check it in images folder one is light on image one is light off image how can we these are the two images actually right so when i click this how can i change this value there is a question here this value should be changed to on and if you click off the value should be changed to bulb off dot gif guys so by taking simple functions i am taking here let us go to javascript and check it guys ssc or i put a script and the script so write a function on light we have to off the light uh, then what is the another function we have function off light this is another function i have right so first of all whatever it may be we have to get the light information right get the light information guys on light right var l i g h t light equal to get the information d o c u m e n t get what i am doing now i am finding an element by its id there is a id what is the id of the element amma element id is light only guys thing 
here <clears throat> i take any variable called light you can take any variable here no problem right you can take l also no problem or simply li or simply lit no problem there is a variable could be anything but this id and this id should be matched <clears throat> what you provided here the same should i need to provide if it is a capital letter and this also should be capital letter right otherwise small letters try to follow always one naming convention that is either lowercase there is either uppercase this is a better practice right so now what i need to do here on now lit is an attribute dot src equal to you have to change the attribute number what is the attribute of this guys images i'm just changing the value images slash bulb off right bulb on dot uh, bulb on dot uh, gif is the image number this is what you have to change the attribute guys uh, if user click off button then what is i need to take guys here so you have to take off then light dot src dot bulb off dot gif you have to take this i mean so what i am doing so initially the bulb element content the image content one one uh, image what is the image by default it is contained image slash bulb of dot gif that is the image we have by default so initially when i am clicking on button the ad, what is going to happen initially this is the off image right if i click on button then this image overrides with this value if you can click off button then this value on uh, bulb on gif is going to override with the bulb off right so how we are manipulating this right now let us go for inspect can you see this is the attribute i have right now so let us go and check it here i have an error so on light is not defined off light is not defined what is the problem here on line number eight okay check it on light off light something wrong i think uh, wait for a minute can i keep on add section once page is ready one minute let us refresh the page yeah nothing guys the placing is important also here now can you check it so this is nothing but uh, the code and what is the uh, image value by default right now i am clicking on if i click on can you see this value will is going to be changed now i'm clicking on so some error one minute so guys here nothing i just taken the variable inside this i revoke the code and uh, to the same position no problem whether we can keep in head section or uh, uh, before closing border section also no problem so i think page was not refreshed i think so earlier that's the reason i got error right now you can check it so what are what is going to happen guys here just refresh it and go and check the console here can you see what is going to happen images bulb by default off bulb is there when i click on this what is going to happen the attribute is changed do you see the attribute is changed src attribute value is changed so if i click off again then what is going to happen the bulb is coming like this see don't think it is not any magic thing guys here just uh, they taken two images one is on image one is off image right if you can click on then they are changing the attribute value and if you click an off again they revoking the same guys now bulb is on now i am clicking off button then things will be done we can also do one thing sir why should we need uh, two buttons here can we take only one button yes definitely we can take only one button also right how can we take only one button there is a question here right so here uh, for example right now i am taking only one button uh, not a two buttons guys right this is only one button but initially bulb is off right what is the bulb is off initially right so on off on off light something like this is my function now earlier we taken the function like this now i want to take a function like this or else uh, let us roll back keep the same code uh, let us create another file here then copy the code create a new file uh, dom 4.html and do one thing here i want to take initially off but my function is on off light okay this is my function i want to take 
on underscore off underscore light my function name should be like this dot this this means current element always remember carefully right so now you can just check it carefully <clears throat> So what is the function you have? Function on underscore of underscore light is the function. Here we have the element. So I mean what this contain, that is contained in the element information, right? So you can check it here. Uh, let us go console.log of e. I mean, I want to know what that e contains. So what is that e? E means current element, no? This means current element that will be stored in the e. Anyhow, uh, this is under file. Let me run the file here. So launching Chrome. This is under file. We have bulb is off right now. So you can check in uh, F12 and go and click on this uh, bu uh, button on click. I'm clicking on it. What are you getting here? You are getting the button information. What is the value of it off? Right. So how can I get the button value here? Console.log e dot inner HTML. I'm just getting the inner HTML. Inner HTML means we can get the value of it now. Some value assigned to it off. Right. Let me go and let me refresh it, guys. I'm checking it. Can you see what I am getting? Off. Off means I want to on. On means I want to off. So now you can observe this carefully. So here you have a value, guys. Right. So this inner HTML. Let me write one condition. If E dot inner HTML equal to equal to OFF 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 off. Of what it is? What I need to do if the bulb is off? I need to on it. So otherwise, what I need to do, guys? Otherwise, we have to make it something like on or off, guys. So this is what I need to do here, right? Just check it carefully. So in this situation, you have to change the bulb information, right? So here you can get get the information where light lit light equal to get the information document dot get element by id what is the id of it demo so light that is the id of uh, id of the bulb is light so here lit dot src i'm changing the source attribute right images images slash bulb on dot gif this is what otherwise what i have to do the same you have to copy and just make it and bulb off dot gif guys otherwise bulb off 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 and one more thing now you can just check it carefully but here is a small problem but first time it may works for you and it is all right clicking on so again if i click it is not offing and moreover you can just check it bulb this time bulb is off and the button value is also off when i am clicking this what is the bulb value should be off button should be on now something like right so or else you have to make the button initially on make the button initially on right make the button initially on so if it is initially on mm, one minute uh initially button should be on right generally all right button is on if you can click on bulb should be in on right then what i need to do here on when on on right now you can just check it initially button is on click on on button bulb is on then button should be off now right then what i need to do in this situation uh you have to take e dot inner html equal to off i have to change the button value like this amount this is now manipulating the dom guys see initially you provided a value but in this situation what i need to do like this button should be on guys right so here the button name should be in the situation button name should be on so vice versa now you can just check it we are changing the value of a button here now click on it so now can you see what's in a button value off click on the off button now what is the button value now again on this is how we can change the on click on right so see so by clicking the button how this button value is changing right now bulb is in off i want to on click on on now bulb is on you want to off and there is a button called off how we are changing the label of an element guys this is all nothing but dom manipulation how we are changing the value of an element that is very important guys right i just taken one small condition and we have a button value this is the value of the uh, this is the label of the button based on the label if it is on i'm changing it as a off if it is off i'm changing it as a on by clicking the 
button by clicking the action environment just observe the environment what exactly we are doing here right so this is how we can use uh, dom methods to manipulate the document guys right so we are having a lot of methods and a lot of properties right so this is lit src is the property of image what is this lit lit is containing the information of the image in image element so all the in, all the information that's why first i printed lit what i what is lit contain lit contain all the information what is this e contain e contain the button information completely button information right so this is guys the next thing and uh, in the next session we will discuss about the remaining methods now we seen only one method so get element by id by using this method we can find an element we have remaining methods also to find an element this we will see in next session